This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be taking a quick look at atomic orbitals and sublevels. So we'll start by looking at the shapes of s orbitals and p orbitals. Before we do so, here we have a definition. An atomic orbital is a region of space where there is a high probability of finding an electron. So starting with s orbitals, which are spherical. On the right, we can see the shapes of a 1s orbital and a 2s orbital. Next, we have p orbitals, which are dumbbell shaped. In the p sublevel, there are three p orbitals, which are labeled px, py, and pz. The orientation of the orbitals is at 90 degrees to each other. So, to summarize, s orbitals are spherical and p orbitals are dumbbell shaped. So, next we look at sublevels. So, each principal energy level is split into sublevels. The first principal energy level, which is labeled as n equals 1, has one sublevel, which is the 1s sublevel. The second principal energy level, which is n equals 2, has two sublevels. They are the 2s and 2p sublevels. The third principal energy level, which is n equals 3, has three sublevels, which are the 3s, the 3p, and the 3d sublevels. And finally, we have the fourth principal energy level, which is n equals 4, and this has four sublevels. They are the 4s, the 4p, the 4d, and the 4f sublevels. On the right, we can see these sublevels arranged in order of energy, with the lowest energy being the 1s sublevel, and the highest energy being the 4p sublevel. In the next video, we'll look at how these sublevels are filled with electrons. Note that within the main energy level or principal energy level, the order of energy is as follows. So the S sublevel is the lowest energy, and the F sublevel is the highest energy. So for example, the 4S sublevel is the lowest energy, and the 4F sublevel is the highest energy. So let's end the video with a summary. In this table, we have the principal energy level or main energy level with the number of sublevels the number of electrons in each sublevel, the number of orbitals, and the total number of electrons in each main energy level. So starting with n equals 1, which has a 1s sublevel, this can hold a maximum of 2 electrons. So the n equals 1 energy level has 1 orbital, which can hold 2 electrons. Next, we have n equals 2, which has 1 2s sublevel and 1 2p sublevel. The 2s sublevel can hold 2 electrons, and the 2p sublevel can hold 6 electrons. The number of orbitals is 4, which can hold a total of 8 electrons. Moving on to n equals 3, which has a 3s, a 3p, and a 3d sublevel. The 3s sublevel can hold 2 electrons, the 3p sublevel can hold 6, and the 3d sublevel can hold 10 electrons. The total number of atomic orbitals is 9, which can hold 18 electrons. And finally, we have the n equals 4 energy level. This has a 4s sublevel, a 4p sublevel, a 4d sublevel, and a 4f sublevel. The 4s sublevel can hold 2 electrons. The 4p sublevel can hold 6. The 4d sublevel can hold 10. And the 4f sublevel can hold 14 electrons. The total number of orbitals is 16, which can hold a maximum of 32 electrons. So that's all from this video. In the next video, we'll look at the order of filling of these atomic orbitals.